It was all a dream. Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, I thank you guys so much for supporting the brand. You can find it at inspiredbydreams.shop. I really appreciate the love. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. King Tops. In the cold streets of New York City, where the streets pulsed with the vibrant energy of hip-hop, an artist named King Tox emerged as a force to be reckoned with. His rise to fame was quick, his tracks dominating the airwaves with their infectious beats and provocative lyrics. King Tox's music glorified violence, drugs, and misogamy. And while his influence was undeniable, it came with a dark side that would soon reveal itself. See, King Tox was the product of the gritty streets he rapped about. His lyrics raw and unapologetic, resonating deeply with the youth who saw him as a symbol of rebellion and authenticity. As his fame grew, so did the number of young fans who emulated his lifestyle. Schools across the city noticed a disturbing trend. Fights broke out more frequently, drug use became rampant, and the respect for authority dwindled. Yet King Tox's popularity made it difficult to challenge his impact. In a high school in Harlem, a young boy named Marcus idolized King Tox. See, Marcus, once a quiet and promising student, began to change. He mimicked the behavior he had heard in King Tox's songs, eventually joining a local gang. One fateful day, a violent altercation erupted between rival groups, leaving Marcus gravely injured. The school was thrown into chaos, with students and families caught in the crossfire of escalating violence. Across the country in Los Angeles, Lisa, a single mother, struggled to keep her teenage son, Jamal, on the right path. See, Jamal was captivated by the rebellious allure of King Tox's music. He started staying out late, getting into trouble, and distancing himself from his mother. The stress of Jamal's behavior took a toll on Lisa's health, leading to her hospitalization for a stress-induced heart condition. The bond between mother and son was strained to the breaking point. Meanwhile, in Chicago, the impact of King Tox's music extended to a local community center. Mr. Johnson, the center's director, watched in disbelief as attendance plummeted. See, the kids who once found solace and positive guidance at the center were now drawn to the streets, influenced by the toxic messages in King Tox's lyrics. See, the once thriving community hub became a ghost town, leaving Mr. Johnson disheartened and the community's youth vulnerable. See, the ripple effect of King Tox's music didn't stop in the United States. In London, a young aspiring artist named Alex began emulating King Tox's style. His music, filled with similar toxic messages, gained popularity, spreading that negative influence across the Atlantic. The streets of London saw a rise in youth violence and drug abuse, mirroring the issues faced in the US. The global impact of King Tox's music was undeniable, and the world began to take notice. Back in New York, King Tox's reign began to unravel. A shocking video surfaced, showing him involved in a serious crime. His arrest made headlines, and as his legal battles unfolded, fans began to see the consequences of the lifestyle he promoted. Communities that were once divided by his influence started to come together, recognizing the need for change. In the aftermath of King Tox's downfall, a movement emerged. Artists and community leaders launched a campaign to promote positive messages through music. Schools implemented programs to educate students about the impact of toxic media. 
community centers like the one in Chicago regain its vibrancy, providing safe havens for the youth. Lisa, after recovering, started a support group for parents dealing with troubled teens. Marcus, after his recovery, became a motivational speaker, sharing his story to prevent others from making the same mistakes. The new era. See a new wave of hip hop artists began to rise, focusing on uplifting lyrics and positive messages. The genre started to heal, and so did the communities affected by its previous toxicity. The story of King Tox became a cautionary tale, a reminder of the power of music and the responsibility that comes with it. Until next time, Mickey made it.